So hello guys, this is Bada Boom here, and right now I'm doing a let's play on Bleach, uh, the Bleach mod for Minecraft. Okay, so that's basically what we're doing. Now, the first thing you want to do when you first load this world is you want to find some sugar cane. Okay, so when do you find some sugar cane? What you want to do is you want to break it. Alright, you want to leave some, some there, of course, to grow back, but what you want to do is break it. Now, I'm going to make a quick crafting table, and I'm going to show you why you want sugar cane. Okay, wait, why did I do that? Who knows? Well, so, I basically take my crafting table, I right click, and, yep. and what you, to do this, you want to build something called a shinai. It's basically a kendo sword. Now, what's so cool about Shinai is that it basically does the same damage as um, a stone axe, but it's made, obviously, with cheaper materials. And so, basic, I mean, sorry, did I say stone axe? I meant, um, stone sword. And there's one other cool thing. Like, let me show you. If I mine something with this, it doesn't, you see, the durability didn't decrease. It also applies to when I hit something, basically anything. So basically, for uh, for all inherent purposes, let's just call this indestructible, okay? I mean, you can lose it, of course, obviously. But the Shinai is one of the best weapons that you can start off with. You can put your, let's just say you can put your cobblestone to better use. Anyway, that's all I really have to tell you about the... This. Now, let me tell you about a bit about Bleach Mod. Um, in a, at night time, hollows spawn. And if you know what Bleach is, then you probably know what hollows are. And if you don't, they're basically, uh, I guess they're kind of, I guess you can say they're evil spirits with holes in their chest, okay? Um, now, basically you can divide hollows into two different types of hollows yeah you can the small ones and the big ones the big ones are pretty easy to deal with mostly because basically the rule to kind of beat them is the high ground just stay up here and then like let's say they're if you will follow them where I'm looking if they fall all the way up here and start jumping up then you can just hit them like this while they're trying to get up so that's basically how you deal with the big ones the small ones are the tricky ones because I don't I, no, I think there are a few small ones that, are, that do ground, but most small ones can fly, and that's annoying. The bats are the ones that are going to get you killed, though, because those guys are super quick, and they reduce your vision. They all, just, all bad. You, maybe if I fight a bat tonight, you'll see. But for now, this, this will suffice. Now, I'm going to build a small base. And I'm going to do it above this mine. I'm not sure if that's a wise choice, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so, hmm. Basically, I'm going to build my base. And I'm going to get back to you guys when it is night time, alright? See? This will actually this actually illustrates the effect of the high ground. If <laughs> you didn't already know, it's actually pretty easy once you figure it out. And that's really uh, the best way. Now, oh, another tip for um, hunting: all. stay in your area because let's be honest, you're probably gonna die. I'm gonna be totally honest with you: you will probably die against hollows at least once or twice. Well, no more than that, honestly. You're gonna die. Okay, you're just gonna die. Because you don't get a Zanpakuto until late. Actually, I'll, I'll explain that a bit later. But essentially, you want to stay in your general. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, what a treat. I get to show you guys what a Shinigami looks like. Hello. Hello. Can you see? Can you turn around from the sea? Go on, turn around, please. A little, please. I want to show my hello. You're gonna be difficult, aren't you? But yes, this is a Shinigami. They spawn sometimes, 
Sometimes they help you, sometimes they don't. Okay, he's going somewhere. Where is he going? I'm gonna follow him. He looks like he knows where he's going. But, um, th when you first start the game, you can choose between three classes. I'm, you can be a human. I'm not sure what they do, but I imagine in the future they're gonna be doing something. Because, it, oh, there's more sugar cane. Okay, that's useful. Um, then there is, of course, the Shinigami, which is this. Now, the upsides of the Shinigami is essentially this. The Shinigami can basically... They, their weapons are cheaper to craft, at, at least comparable to Quincy. You can probably get enough for a Zanpakuto in about five nights of hollow fighting. Okay, so hollow, so hollow spawn. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, see that dude's not helping. But so see how the how this works. See how I can use the high ground against them. Oh, and store your reactor as soon as you get it. Trust me, you're gonna want to. So basically, quick comparatively. I guess you can say that Soul Reapers have the cheaper weapons. They they're quicker to craft. I guess you can say. And there's and then there's the Quincy's, who basically they have tougher weapons to craft. Like theirs take a lot longer, but basically they you don't have to put any work into them because you see when you get a sh when you get a zonpakuto finally you have to put a lot of work now there's a hollow over there i'm not going to fight it because i have Riazu on me i don't want to lose that um basically quincy's they cost more to like basically make their weapons but the upside is that you don't have to put any work into them like even once you get a shinigami shikai you have to put work into it, like before it can actually become a shi a shikai. Now they don't have bonkai at the moment, which is a bit disappointing a little bit, but that's fine for now, honestly. Because I mean, shikai is cool enough as it is. Um. Now, basically, oh, let's see, let's see. What else? What points have I not covered? I have covered basic hollow fighting. Okay, that's a check. Oh yes, stock up on meat. Every time you go go fighting, have some form of food on you, because trust me, these halls hurt, and you're gonna want something to save your butt. I should say. And there's my sword of friend, again, doing nothing. It looks like. Okay. And so I don't really think there's any more hollows oh, over there, but I don't really feel like fighting that one. He's one of the smaller types, and he's bit easier to deal with than the than the bat type hollows. But there's still actually, if you look to my friend's let's play, well, it's not really a let's play; it's more like a kind of crossover let's play. But if you look to that, you know, why is there always spawn? Am I popular? But Basically, if you look at my friends, let's play. You'll kind of see how just how mean uh, fat hollows are. <laughs> uh, snowstorm. Yeah. So, I, I um guys, I want to apologize real quick. I know this. I'm not sounding too enthusiastic right now about this let's play, but you know, you gotta remember, I'm in a house that's really quiet right now. So it's like kind of like. I don't want to speak right now. <laughs> it's, it's a bit. I don't know if you guys can understand the feeling, but yeah. So, I think. I think that's about it today. Now, obviously, I'm gonna cover some more points. Like maybe I forgot something. I probably did, because I think I I did a video. On the, another video, I had to delete it, but I did another video and it covered a lot better. Than what I just did right now, so probably, um, probably second video. I'm gonna try to cover those points more in depth because 
I just feel like I did a terrible job t today, and I, I'm already running out of time, I think. So, I don't really think there's not much else for me to, you know what, I'm gonna get into one more hall fight. Yeah, maybe, the, I don't know, maybe that, uh, wasp freaking thing despawned already, but we'll, we'll see if it hasn't. If it hasn't, then we're gonna go fight it. And so, basically, God, I'll have to look over this video and figure out what I didn't tell you. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. That dude is perfect. Now, this dude, I should warn you, he, his punches, like, can catch on fire. I should probably warn you about that. Okay, zombie. No, remember how I ground, so I want to kind of angle myself on top of this. It's not much of a high ground, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, and as you can see, this is why you need the high ground. Yep, that's why you need the high ground, people. <sighs> and that's why you don't get greedy. Now, oh yeah, that's right, I don't have a bed, so I have to go all the way back to my place. I should probably kill this, uh, these sheep while I'm at it. Because I, I wasn't that far away, if I remember correctly. But, I think that's about it for now. I'm gonna probably stop the video right now. So, um, see you guys in the next video, and hopefully I'm more enthusiastic about this and telling you more features. Anyway, I'll see you guys next video. Uh, see ya.